<laughs> or just mess everything up. It won't stand up straight. Call in to see if you wanted to come over for a pizza party. I've been over here working on this side. It's not going well. One book works for sure. What do you think? Better? Happy Vlogmas Day 17. It is usually about this time that I actually start remembering what day of Vlogmas it actually is. That one came really easily to me. <laughs> so this morning, got my vlog live for today and I've been cleaning. I've just been doing the things that I have been meaning to do. Kinsley's playing with a cat. I've been doing the things I've been meaning to do for a while. Um, so I got a package and look at what it looks like. It looks kind of like I bought smashed mud. But <laughs> it's a puff vest, a puffer vest. I'm like, how did it come like this? I guess it makes sense to like be shrink wrapped like that because it saves space. It's like one of those vacuum sealed things that you open, it's gonna explode. Kind of like a mattress, I'm assuming. I don't wanna cut it though. Oh, I hear it, it's growing. I hope it's cute, it's so wrinkled. So I saw it I saw it on Amazon and I thought it was so cute. They have like a whole bunch of different colors. Okay, baby. They had a whole bunch of different colors and let's, let's let it puff up for a little bit and we'll try it on. I'll just put it over here. Also on the last Hailey Weaver launch, the road launch, I had the, I don't know how it happened, or I had the opportunity to order the skincare. I've been wanting to try it for a while. I, I've already had the peptide lip treatment. It did take a while to get here. I think that they had a lot of orders. So I've already tried the lip treatment in the salted caramel and I really liked it. So I, I, I um, ordered it again. Love this. I also ordered the watermelon one. Mmm. Feels so good. My lips got so chapped yesterday when we were at the flea market because it's so windy. That is so nice. So I got that. And I also got the Barrier Restore Cream. And I also got the Peptide Glazing Fluid Dewy Hydration Layer. I need to watch her thing again, like which one you, you put first. Signature step to plump and hydrate the skin. Rich moisturizing, rich nourishing moisturizer to comfort and restore compromised skin barrier. Oh, okay, how to use. I think it's the glazing fluid and then the moisturizer. I just washed my face, everything's clean. When I went to the grocery store yesterday for my mom some flowers, I also got two um, nail polishes to try out for uh, Christmas. I got, and I put them on my thumb so I could test them out, but they're two different red colors. One has like a chrome look and then one's darker. Um, I'll put them on the screen which one they are. I'm, I'm wearing it on my thumb. So if you see that, I'm wearing it on my thumb so that I can see which one I'm gonna like. Two pumps of this. Oh, it feels cooling. Oh, it's drying fast. So I think that's kind of like a serum. You know what I mean? The half a finger length amount they don't really smell like it. They have no like real smell, which is nice. I don't really use moisturizers and stuff that has a fragrance to it, unless it just smells clean, you know? Like this doesn't really smell like anything, which is good. Cool. So I will let you, I mean, that's nice. It absorbed really quickly, so that's good. I will let you know how I like that. 
but it actually took a while to come. Also, when I opened my, my grass sleigh, I was so excited. My mom got such a good deal. I'm gonna put it on the bookshelf. I love it. Isn't he pretty? Look at that. He's gorgeous. Okay, let's see where we can put him. I feel like I've gotten this looking pretty good. <laughs> it's definitely not 18 days. How many days left until Christmas? Eight days. So I'll just change this. That is so crazy. Okay, so I think these shelves are looking like really good. I feel like I could put it there, but I actually kind of like that. I think it would actually be pretty over here. I mean, you can see, so when you're in the living room, you can see stuff. So maybe I'll just put him right there. Oh, but you know where he would be pretty? In the entryway. I feel like that's a better place for him, for sure. I haven't decorated that yet. I have these trees that I wanna do there. I think he'll be really pretty there. Let's decorate the entryway, shall we? This is looking a little sad. Like, can you put this away? I, I have this gate like right for the entryway here. If someone comes over uh, to work on the house, like the like the other day when we got the new sink. So I keep Kinsley in the back. So, I mean, she's a loving dog, but she would go absolutely crazy and get hurt probably. And this is the arrangement that I did for fall. It looks very fall, it looks very dried kind of flower, but I'd like to do another arrangement because I like the height that it gives. I also have some tree. I actually have two of these trees though that we could use for height instead or as well. I've got some garland. Maybe let's start with like doing like the trees and stuff. Then if we feel like it needs more height, I can take this arrangement out and then we can do some like green, like cedar and stuff in it or tools that need to go outside. But you guys were saying not to put them, not to put the paint outside. I guess I can, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna move all of those back in, but I could put them in this closet instead because it will get really cold soon. So maybe I can just set them in here for now. But this is not gonna be heard outside. So <laughs> this could go outside. Do a little cleaning. I also think it would be pretty to kind of like put, oh, my light is out. Oh man, a light bulb burned out here. Um, I thought it would be pretty to kind of do some bows on the light, on the, on the art too. If we have enough ribbon, I think that would be really pretty. Okay, so I have some leftover garland from the mantle. I also have a new fake garland and I also have some cedar clippings that my mom and I got. Like here's some real one. This might actually be pretty over the picture. <gasps> Maybe we should do that. How much do I have? Find the center and then put that. This is just the leftover, so I'll find the center. Oh, move it. <laughs> or just mess everything up. I'm getting pine needles everywhere. I feel like how this looks best is when you use one strand, the stems obviously go one direction. So it's going up, over, and down. But it looks best when it goes down like that, see? And this is like sticking straight up over here. Um, I could cut it and then we can just lay half going off one side, half going off the other. And I think that that adds like more of a purposeful look. And cut it at the halfway mark. Oh, yep. <laughs> okay. So now, start at the top of the picture. God, this tinsel. Tinsel gets everywhere. And I am lucky. I know you, I, I have seen you guys say it's really bad for animals and stuff, especially cats. Kinsley doesn't eat stuff like that, so I'm lucky, but you never know. So I've been kind of cautious about it ever since. Um, last thing I would want is anything happen, Kinsley. One that way. And then put the other going the other way. Does that look good? Looks better. That's a good place to start. I still think ribbon would look really good. Since you walk kind of this way into the hallway, I like having height on this side because it's kind of like a corner, you know, it's it's tucked away. Um, so, and I also have some more trees that I think would look really cool right here. I have these, I got half price last year after Christmas because we didn't decorate last year. 
and I could put some ribbon on them and then I have two. I have one, two. Oh, they're different sizes. I didn't even know. <laughs> didn't even know I was about to put them on books, which probably I still will. So add some height on that side, which is really pretty. But I am, I am totally gonna put them on books. Bring in this like eggplant color, you know, like the eggplant, like we did in the living room. So bringing that color from there and pulling it into this area will help there to be some like synergy. Still have quite a lot of books that I have not used. Um, I, have, no, I have lots of blue. This is a room I have yet to clean. I have my encyclopedias that I used for fall that are more like auburn colored. Um, I have blue, I have brown. This color is kind of what I'm going for. See how it's kind of like a eggplanty, vintagey look? This is poetry, poetry. Okay, I found some. I only had one of those. Select prose and poetry of Rudyard Kipling. I thought in the room that this was green, but it's more, it is, but well, is that too literal? Or sometimes, you know, I just like to turn them around and it works really well. works for sure and it brings a little bit of that eggplant and then if I put some eggplant ribbon around it especially this one I think that will be really pretty I also have my vintage tree skirt that we did not use I don't think it'll work but no I was like thinking on the bottom but I don't think so definitely some of our LED candles and a, maybe the three I bought a just recently I got a three piece uh, brass candle holder this one but I still need to clean it up. Like there's still, I'm just kind of get that off. Let's get the candles and we'll see like the height. I actually really like these candles that I got from Amazon. They had different colors. They had like red and, I mean, I feel like I'll use them. Hard to get them to stand up straight. They won't stand up straight! Ah, they're not real! Normally I drop a little bit of hot wax in the bottom, make them stand up, but they're, they're obviously LED, they're not real. Hey, these are new. If these don't work, then I don't know. Okay, these work. We're good. I think we can light them up since, I think it will help since it's green on green. I feel like it will help them. Holly a little bit. Cross the door. Neighbors singing tales of yours. It's so close, hardly can wait. Waking up on Christmas, children dreaming without a care. Tis the season most everywhere. So come home, there's no better place. Waking up on Christmas Day. What do you think? Better? It lights it up a lot more. Like it doesn't get so lost. Look how pretty it is now, you guys. That's gorgeous. That's so pretty. I got a little pop of color with some added bows and this pulls in from the living room as well since I had all of that eggplant color. Pulled that eggplant color into here, also in the book. Got my new sleigh, my reindeer sleigh sled. Um, and I filled it with some pine cones. I actually thrifted too a while back, them snowy ones. These are, I really love pine cones. They're like longer like that. So I thought that they looked really good in there like that and put a little more sprig of cypress back here. And I swapped out this one for just one larger candle holder. And I thought it was pretty with this. It kind of covered it a little bit. Um, and then put lights on those trees. I like those trees there, and I like them a lot more now that they're um, lit. But because at first I didn't have them lit, and I was like, oh, they kind of just disappear. But now they look pretty good. But still, when you're back here, they kind of just add like a little twinkly. You kind of lose them. So I'm thinking maybe I will move them kind of out here and plug them in. Then it'll be more Christmassy as you walk into that area because I feel like they just kind of get left behind. They're so pretty, but you don't see them until you go down the hallway. And it's just like a gorgeous little entryway situation. Ah! So 
one more place that I wanna put some fresh cedar in addition to the dining table. I wanna do a pretty dining table scape, um, like tablescape for Christmas dinner after Christmas. So I'll probably hold off on that for now. I've been using that table a lot for like things. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that garland up there, put some, I don't know, maybe we'll throw some things on there. But I'm up here, I wanna put some fresh cedar. I feel like it would be chef's kiss in the kitchen. You know what I mean? I loved this little moment. That's why I wanted to build out the hood like this because I could put stuff up there and I could put art. And there was all windows on this, so there wasn't much room to decorate other than just the windowsills, which is still something, you know? Um, we could do something in the windowsills too, but I wanna keep the art up there. I just wanna change out this, take this down and add some cedars. Ow, they got stickers on them. Ow, I should put this back this side like I like it and we'll just kind of tuck in some cedar here I need like the little pieces oh my gosh that looks so good already <gasps> just like a little spray that's so pretty I love it I almost wish I had some berries too, but that's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? Just like some freshness up there. I love it. I still have a lot of things over here that I need to put outside. There's so much to do. And all I want to do is just lay down and relax. <laughs> but let's see what this would look like. I like the idea of this garland being in the center. But honestly, I think it might be a little too thick to actually have on here for dinner. I may have to reevaluate my plan, but I got this. I got this at the thrift store. It would honestly be pretty with just some fresh cedar and candles. I was gonna do like a big candelabra, but these actually might be. Oh, the tinsel is everywhere. I have some more white candles that I could put. But that'd be really pretty. Just just for now. And, and you know, like just so it's decorated in here. When my brain can process the the food and everything, the design that I want for Christmas, I'll do that later. I'm hungry thinking about food. Okay, I've been over here doing things. Uh, well, I've actually been Kinsley has been playing with a cap for like an hour straight. I've been over here working on this side. It's not going well. I have a few things, but I don't have a lot, and it's really hard to get to it. Cancelay! I also have some more cedar that I can put up, but I did a thing. I ordered pizza. I have to go pick it up. We don't have delivery here. I have to go pick it up. Cancelay, what? 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 I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go get our pizza. Even though you're not having any, you know, we're gonna have a girl's slumber party pizza. Really quick, I also ordered a prickly pear drink, if you will. Oh, you didn't answer my face time. <laughs> oh, I was calling to see if you wanted to come over for a pizza party. Oh, I'm listening, but I'm in, I got five dogs. Actually, four. I just got four wet dogs. Pizza. Ah! <laughs> no, I got it. We're having a, a pizza work party. All right, I'm actually watching this recruit. I actually really like it. It's with Noah Centino. No, Noah. I don't know how to say his last name. Um, it's really, it's really good. I actually really like it. I'm on episode, I just started episode four. I watched it last night. Um, so we'll watch that. Eat some pizza really quick. I got the Ignacio pizza. It has mushrooms and red onion, jalapeno. It's good. <laughs> Really good. Okay.